What's up, y'all? This your boy Jay Ross hanging out in the green room, which is actually blue down here at Jazz at the Bistro with my cat Trayvon Griffin, y'all. Hey, we doing a little quickie jump in. He getting ready to sing tonight again, a tribute to Prince and with Good for the Soul. And uh, the band ain't here yet, y'all. They running late, so I got to dock everybody a yard. <laughs> hey, Trey, man, what's been up, man? I know you be, you got a lot of stuff be jumping off, man. Yeah, man. Um, I'm back, working on some music. Got some music coming out soon. This um, my company, TLT Productions, we produce like concerts and plays and stuff. Um, we got a show called Tangle that opens next weekend from the 14th to the 16th. Yeah. Hey. Cransfer is going to be really hot. Like, if y'all like the half and a half knots, the one for wrestlers, anything that got a little drama in it. Yeah. Check it out. Hey, now, do you like doing plays more than you like doing music? Um, they equally yoke. I grew up doing them simultaneously. So yeah. Like, I was always in musicals growing up, so that's how I kind of got introduced to music and to business at the same time. Well, I know last time y'all did that tribute to Prince when you went, uh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, I'm going to give you something I think that makes me feel. Hey, at what age did you realize you could sing? Or did your mom and them always, baby, you could sing when you was a little kid? Yeah, it probably was, baby, you could sing. Yeah. Um, but for real, me, probably like five, six. Oh, yeah. yeah? So you were singing in front of audiences or crowds then? I was singing in front of big audiences by the time I was like six or seven. Straight? So you never was chicken? No. Straight? Straight. <laughs> <laughs> so like, now when you're on stage and you see all the people out there, what kind of feelings run through you? What, what kind of emotions do you have? I think I always kind of get nervous just a little bit, and yeah. I think that's good because you know I don't feel like you're not nervous. No more. Um, but once I get out there and start singing, I'm good. It's on. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all, once again, we hanging out at the Bistro. We got all my peeps jump in. What's in? Ken, Chris Watkins, Moria, Dave Andrews, y'all. Uh, we just getting ready for the concert tonight. Uh, Trey first one heard me and him back here chilling. Yeah. Now, I just told Trey now, you're going to be singing Prince and these here shoes right here. <laughs> hey, you're going to have a problem, boy. You're gonna have, hey, you're going to have bunions when you hit 30, dog. <laughs> yeah, <he's cool>. No, <laughs> Shoot. Hey, he, he's still young, y'all. For us older cats, man, we know about them bunions and corns. You be on fire up in here. Now, you got some jumping off next week. What's about that one? Yeah, um, it's about... It's this play, like I said, it's called Tangled. It's written by uh, my cohort, her name is Ron. She wrote it, I'm directing it. Um, it's about this girl who basically uh, was doing some fraudulent stuff with a guy that she used to mess with. She found out something happened and she get her best friends to basically come back and try to get all his money. Oh, um, oh she was a hoe? I ain't gonna say she, no, she was Oh, she wasn't, she wasn't but, no. You know, she was in a relationship. She was a freak. Yeah, so something. Yeah. <laughs> Pink slip, baby. <laughs> but like, like I said, y'all, for real, it's a lot of drama. It's gonna, like, you're gonna be on the edge of your seat the whole time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, Trey was, Trey was also, let me get this right now. He was the the vocal coach for the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, and he had, and he had them, he had them folks singing. Yeah. You know, I met Trey some years ago at his concert at the Cranzburg, man, and yeah. he's been a cool cat ever since, man. Be sure J. Ross TV love all the time. All the time, love J. Ross. Yeah, so we just hanging out right now, man, and uh, for all y'all, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold them long. I'm gonna wait till the concert kick off. We'll get a little uh, footage for y'all. So this your boy J. Ross hanging out at the bistro in the green room, which is actually blue. Wait a minute, somebody just said something. Hold on. What's good, Chris? Man, I got Trey in here, and y'all having a conversation between y'all self. David Andrews, my dog. J. Ross in the house. J. Ross always in the house, big dog. Hey, tomorrow night we got uh Trayvon watching. <laughs> hey, tomorrow night we watch tomorrow night, y'all, we got Jill Scott in uh tomorrow night. Got a couple of my partners gonna be in town. I already hollered at them. We going over to uh Hope House for 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 lunch. So if y'all uh accidentally beat her, it's all good. And then Sunday, uh after seven, my boy Tyrone Jackson on guitar coming in. I don't know what we gonna do. We always get in trouble. He also the guitar player for Stevie Wonder, y'all. So, but this your boy Jay Ross. I'm gonna let y'all roll. Let Trey uh, get ready to put on his uh his uh, Ultraman shoes. <laughs> get ready for the concert tonight. I'm gonna I'll let y'all later. I I'll, I'll be back when the uh, concert start. Let y'all get a little inside feel on good for the soul featuring Trayvon Griffith and Anita Jackson. Yeah.